Hurrah! I'm down to my last top shelf now. So um, come and join me as I get on with this decluttering challenge. I'm really hoping I can do this shelf in 15 minutes. So set your timers, off we go. I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. And I've set myself a decluttering challenge. So um, I'd love to know how you're getting on with your um, decluttering, if you're doing it at home at the moment. So up the ladder. Can you still see me? I have got all sorts of jugs and containers here. So I'm going to um, put them, get them off the shelf and see what I've got. You might remember I did um, a washi tape video at Christmas time. So I'm going to put the, this little jar with my other jars the same size. And I did use these candles as well at Christmas time, battery operated candles. So they are definite keepers, although the bindweed base around there is going to go into the compost bowl there. So I've got a bowl for compost, a bowl for recycling, a bowl for chucking away and on the side I'm going to put my um, giveaways. So either to my friend who runs the brownie pack or down to the charity shop. So all these lovely, so I do use these um, jugs quite a lot. Um, and I normally buy them from charity shops, so I only spend a couple of pounds on them at a time. And that's looking a bit sad. We have poppies in our garden, and um, I save them to use the, the poppy heads. But they've just gone a bit. I don't use them as dried flowers. I use them as a decoration. So what I might do is snap the bottom half off, and then it'd be much easier for me to store that. In fact, I've got a box I'm going to put them in. So for the moment, I'll put them back in the vase, but when I reorganize, I shall put them back in my box. They don't need to have the length to them. And then, oh, I love green glassware. Um, so I collect a bit of it. I don't know anything about it, but I just like the color. It reminds me of something out of my grandmother's um, dressing table. So that's a keeper as well. And then, oh, this lovely bowl. Again, another charity shop find. And in here, gosh, I can't even remember when I made that. Again, it's a sample piece. I ought to put that on my wall, perhaps. It's dried really well. I think I made this for a hem party, for a demonstration for a hem party, um, with roses and astrantia and it's even got solidago in there. It just dries absolutely beautifully. So if you like me, you like dead stuff, um, you'll like that. So I'm going to, as it's sort of looking okay, I'm going to keep hold of that. Hydrangea head is gone over and I've got loads of hydrangeas. These are sunflowers that have really, really dried. Again, I don't need those anymore. Get fed up with them after a while. Um, artichokes as well. They, they were lovely. I'm chucking them out, chucking them out, chucking them out. But I will keep the pine cones, but I'm going to put them in my Christmas box and bring them out again at Christmas. And then I can use the bowl for something else in the meantime. So I'll put that on the side there. My great keeper of rose petals. I don't like to throw anything away. So when the flowers, your flowers die, you get these lovely, that's a really dark one, it's not showing up very well. But it's just really lovely, for, especially for photographs, if you're Instagramming, to collect things like this. But I must have had these a couple of years now, so I'm going to get rid of those. And that's another kilner jar, so I shall wipe that out and put that down with the rest of my kilner jars and keep them all together. Oh, pretty little crate with nothing in it. So I could use that for part of my storage system again, just to get another level lower down. So I will keep hold of that. Metal cups, oh. <laughs> with some Play-Doh inside. I might secretly get rid of the Play-Doh. So these look really great planted up with spring bulbs. So I'm going to keep those. And then this is what I, you might have seen the video earlier that I did about um, my test tubes. So this is a test tube inside there. And I've added on extra wires and twisted them around to sort of make a very dramatic um, display. You just put a single flower in there, a rose or something. I think I might have a video on that. So if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below. So it's quite nice to have those as demonstration pieces. And a lovely little 
daffodil that was made for me so I'm going to keep that. Some spiders, they need to go in the Halloween box. A red star, I might give that away. And pastry cutters, I'm going to give those away as well. Um, I've got a whole collection of heart-shaped pastry cutters which at Valentine's Day I make into um, a garland or bunting and I hang that up in my kitchen. And then candles, old candles, which I think are past it. So I shall throw, those can get thrown away. And in fact, I'm not sure about the can. I think I might have grown out of the watering can. So I'm going to give that, put that in the giveaway box, just down there at the moment. So that's giveaway. Um, pretty little peg, that goes back in the kitchen. Those are throwaways. glass vase there. I don't know whether that is a hyacinth vase or whether it had something else, I don't know, but I've had that for ages and I'm ready to give that away. So that's a giveaway. And then um, a very ordinary pressed glass pot from the charity shop and I've changed its colour by spraying it. So I think that was bright orange once and then this pinky colour. So I, I've got loads of vases so I'm ready to give that one away. So that's going to go. Teacup and saucer for teacup and saucer arrangements, so I'll keep that for class. I need to find a home again. And this lovely bit of coral that I was given. Can't possibly give that away again. I might put that up in the bathroom. I found some other lovely pieces when I was tidying up the other video, so I can go and join those in the bathroom. Oh, I th um, a lid. This is the lid to a biscuit barrel that I'm using as a flower pot container on the kitchen windowsill. So I guess I ought to keep that so the two can go together. And I bought myself a bowl and I've used it for those photographs, but I'm ready to give that away. So that's for the giveaway pile. And then this is quite a handy container for making table arrangements. Again, it's lifted up a little bit. It doesn't get in the way of what, what you've got on, on the table. So that is a keep. Red spotty pot. Oh, it's got treasure in here. It's got a painted pebble, so I'm going to keep that for sentimental reasons so that can stay. Jam jars, that's really good size for making um, a little casual flower vase. And I'm doing a class shortly, so I must put that with my other jam jars. And then I was given this by a friend who was decluttering. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But now it's cluttering at my house, so I'm going to pass that on as well. And I bought this lovely little jug. Oh, I love this jug. Um, but it, blue isn't really my colour. It's got a lovely handle on it. So um, I'm going to put it on the giveaway pile, and then I've got one last chance if I... I've got a whole um, bags and bags for stuff I'm taking to the charity shop now. So I'll have a final look through, and if I still like it, um, when I'm doing the charity shop run, I will take it out of the bag. This is actually this pink container I told you about down here. It wasn't previously orange, it was that one that was orange. And this is actually a plastic container, which I prefer the look of. Quite like the, the more intricate design on there. And I'm going to keep that because I can change that up again. This was a little gift for my husband's daughter, so I'm going to keep that. Make sure I use that coming months. And then I love this. I love the shape of this container. Oh, it's got all dried flower foam in it. But again, it's not really a colour that I use very often. So I'm going to get rid of that. Actually, I might give it away with a piece of flower foam in there. It's been used that side, but with the dried flowers, it's quite fresh on that side. So I shall give that one away as well. And then tins. I do have a thing for tins as well. It's a Harrogate toffee tin. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not using it for anything. And then this tin, again, I've had this for years and years. Cadbury's chocolate fingers. Oh, oh, I ought to get rid of it. In the spirit of making space, I should get rid of it. And there's a box of goodies here. Oh, this is all sort of my, my red themed thing. So 
here are my red biscuit i've got gingerbread men stars more hearts and some paper hearts open out so i need to go through that box and I've got little birds as well that were hanging down from the kitchen so that could be something i need to go through so i shall go through that separately um bottle painted white this is again a really good way of upcycling bottles so i just use that as a demonstration piece so i shall keep that and then this is the base of topiary tree so i used the plaster of paris i showed you in the previous video and i've got here um old rose stems so i cut the heads off for another project and that is the teaching demonstration for making a topiary tree so i shall keep that and lovely textural vase so really i should swap these around a bit and bring them to the front of the cupboard so i can still see i've got them so i'm going to keep that as well and um my lady's head which i take with me when i do the flower crown classes because if you cover up the gash on her head it's just quite good for photographs it's a way of showing off the model there so i'll keep her candelabra that's a, another regular thing that i teach in class how to make a candelabra agent so that'll stay and then all these little glass bottles matching sets so i should put that with the other little glass bottles that we've got and cake stand i think it's time i got rid of that fits together like that i love it but i think it's time that had a new home so that's in the giveaway pile and then i've got a milk crate here which i'll bring down so a collection of bottles and i think quite possibly ooh, it's time these bottles found a new home but again just to show the things you've got lying around at home do make really good containers an orangina bottle and old-fashioned lemonade bottles and uh, yeah, huge huge glass bottles there so I'm going to um, thin that out, I think, and put them in a recycling box. So I shall come back and do a big reveal at the end of the video. Uh, well, not this video, another time, just to show you that I have thrown stuff away and made space for what I want to make space for. So I hope you've um, enjoyed having a look through my cupboards with me. And do leave me a comment if you're doing some decluttering. And don't forget to like the video. And if you're enjoying the uh, behind the scenes show and flower arranging hints and tips, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I shall see you another time.